from the Walter Pyramid in beautiful Long Beach, California. It's the final day of the Big West Conference regular season as the Long Beach State 49ers host the UC Riverside Highlanders. And hello, everybody. Welcome courtside here at the Walter Pyramid. I am Rob Brender alongside John Crispin, who played his college ball at Penn State and then at UCLA. Well, a couple of things we know before today's game starts. Both these teams have their seating set for the Big West Conference Tournament, which begins Thursday in Anaheim. Long Beach State, having not won the league for the first time in four years, will be the number three seed. UC Riverside will be the number eight seed. They are in the tournament for the first time since 2012. And John, one thing we also know for sure is that both these teams need a little bit of work, and today's a big game for both of them. Well, it's a momentum builder, especially going into the Big West Tournament. With Rob Render, along with John Crispin and Larissa White. Should be a fun one. Final home game for Long Beach State this year. Final game of the regular season for each one of these two teams. Yeah, Rob, Larissa brought up a great point. Is getting this team to buy into that winning style of basketball. And it's a good start right there, but... You've got to understand it comes with an expectation. The expectation has to be winning basketball games and winning championships in this Big West Conference. That was Dan Jennings getting the first two points for the 49ers. Mentioned he is the lone senior on their roster. Riverside working against a man-to-man -man defense for the 49ers to open up. A three from Steve Jones is off, and there's Jennings with an immediate rebound. He's making an impact on both ends of the floor. Yeah, and he will. Physically, he might be the strongest guy on the floor. Him and Patton going at it. Two big bodies. It's going to get physical down low. This is A.J. Spencer on the drive. Had the ball ripped out of his hands, but it goes out of bounds. Still be 49er ball. One thing about Jennings that the coaching staff has pointed out really all season long is that number one, his work ethic has been there, but number two, he's also developed a bit more of an offensive game. He's using both hands. Yeah, and you have to down on the post. I mean, you've got to be able to go to both shoulders. Otherwise, it's easy to take you away. Tyler Lamb, the UCLA transfer, become an impact scorer, tries the floater and knocks it down to the paint. The 49ers with a quick 4 nothing advantage. And that's a part of his game that you haven't seen a lot of, but he's got it. The ability to put the ball on the deck, hit those floaters in the lane. You know him as a three-point shooter. Chris Harriola was a very good scorer last year for Riverside. Not the impact player that they expected this year, his senior campaign, as Tyler Lamb gets his hands on that one. We talk about rhythm and kind of getting that the expectation's high. Harriel is, is a guy who just really hasn't gotten into rhythm this year and been consistent. Here's a three from Stephen Thornton, and he knocks it down. 6'4", 215, but burying the triple. And it's good to get that inside-out play, getting the ball into the paint and kicking out to the open man, and then just knocking down an open shot. 49ers won the first matchup between these two teams in Riverside about a month ago. Dave Samuels with a right-handed shot. Missed it. There's Jennings again. 